Welcome back. So we have a special car here and I'll get to that later in the video. You guys will see why I'm telling you this is a special car, but to anyone out there that's always wondered, is it different to paint a Ferrari because it's a high-end car versus a cheaper car? We're gonna get into all that stuff. And uh, to me, painting a car is painting a car. Each manufacturer has different uh, things they want you to do to their vehicles based off of what these cars are made after uh, nowadays, especially with the Teslas. You guys know a lot of them are aluminum. So these high-end cars were aluminum back in the day and they were the uh, you know supercars. So they were aluminum for the lightweight and that makes them a lot quicker. So we're gonna get into this job here. You guys see this side of the car is in perfect shape and uh, it's a really nice Ferrari red. But when you get around to this side of the car here, it's had a quarter put on it because this job was in a fire and it happened to burn a hole in a quarter panel here. So we got this job and you guys will see later why I tell you this is gonna be a special one for the channel and uh, we're gonna have some fun with it. So we've got the quarter already on the car. This is how it was brought to us to do this job. And uh, it was welded on. So we're gonna have to clean the welds up, do the body work and uh, get this thing painted. But I wanted to show you the original car and how we got this. And we're gonna go through the procedures on this one on how to do it the right way. All right, so we're back with the uh, Ferrari here. We had the glass guy come out and pull the windshield and the quarter glass. And uh, he got it out successfully without breaking it. And that's a good thing because these are like four or $5,000. So we wanted to make sure that we could paint this right. And it had a lot of silicone built up around the uh, pillar here in it. So we've got that out and let me show you the other side. And then we went ahead and we took out this quarter glass here because we're gonna be clearing the whole quarter with this because there's no brake line on it. So. We're just trying to take all precautions and uh, do the job right. But you guys know when we brought the job in, it had already had the quarter panel put on it. And uh, we went ahead and we cleaned up some of the uh, rivets. They riveted it and we uh, wanted to change that to the right type of fasteners, SPRs. So now what we're gonna do, being this is an aluminum body, before we put our filler on, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit it with an epoxy that way it's got the best holdout and the best uh, treatment for the aluminum. And this was welded uh, also somewhere else. So we ground it down, we'll hit it with the epoxy. We're gonna go ahead and bag the whole car. That way we have no chance of overspray. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. So we're all bagged up. And uh, next thing we're gonna do is hit it with our normal steps of uh, SX330 wax and grease and uh, get it cleaned off. And then we'll go ahead and hit it with our epoxy. That way it's treated. All right, so it's all clean and now we'll be able to hit it with our epoxy. But one thing I definitely wanted to mention was this e-coat that Ferrari uses was stronger than anything I've seen so far on uh, part. So you guys know that the uh, regular standard cars that we work on have this black same type of an e-coat on it. But this one here was really strong and uh, hard to sand. So just wanted to give you guys a little note on that because I did notice that was different. So. Let's go ahead and get this thing blown off. Make sure that everything is evaporated before we put our uh, primer on. You wanna make sure you don't trap any of the solvents in any of the scratches. So I'll give this about 10 minutes and then I'll hit it with the epoxy. All right, guys, we're back now for the 2K urethane and uh, the body man, Dan, went ahead and uh, did the filler work over the epoxy, got it blended in there nice. It feels really good and uh, fixed a couple small dinghies that were on the new quarter that we had. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with the 2K urethane. That way we have something to sand to uh, paint it. So we'll get it sealed up and I'll show you the bumper. We got to do a little primer on that. All right, so this is the bumper for it. And this little tip of the uh, bumper was actually burned. So we went ahead, we did a little repair on it, and then we found some other chips that must've been on it. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit them with some primer too and uh, get it cleaned up. So we'll get it primed up.
All right, so we went ahead and we applied two coats of uh, 2K urethane, and that is a PPG product because we use all PPG here. So we'll let this set up overnight and harden up nice. We'll hit it with a guide coat and uh, we'll prep it out and get it in the booth. So, so far it's looking good. And you guys can see here where they seam the quarter in is now nice and smooth and there's no sign of a uh, splice. So that's how it goes down. Even on a Ferrari, it's the same process, but sometimes you have to treat it differently based off of what this is. So this is an aluminum body. So these cars are hard to fix because you have to know what you're doing and to even get this quarter panel is a very hard thing. So this is definitely a different job based off of being an aluminum body car, but we do the Teslas here. So we're familiar with all that with the epoxies and stuff like that. So let's get this thing drying and then we'll be back to prep it out with you. All right, so it's the next day. The 2K primer is uh, hardened up well, and we went ahead and we guide coated it and we hit it with a 400 block and smoothed it down. That was the first thing we did here. And you guys can see it looks nice and smooth. And next thing we're gonna be doing is pulling the door off and detrimming it so we could blend the door. And then I'll show you the bumper. We already have it sanded off. And that's the corner there that we primed last night. So it's prepped and ready and we got the rocker to prep. So we'll show you that in a minute. All right, so the door is now removed. It's over here on the stand and uh, we got to get this prepped out because it's real dirty from when this thing was in a fire here. So we got some glue from it looks like when it was uh, wrapped up so it didn't get any water in it. And so we're going to get this prepped out. We've got the rocker over here primed and ready and then the bumper's ready over there. So we still have to do some more prepping on the roof of this car. And uh, I got some help on this one and you guys will see that in a minute but we pulled off the rocker on this side. That way we don't have any tape lines and we also have the vent taken out and the quarter glass was removed. So we're gonna get this thing prepped out and uh, we'll be in the booth shortly. All right, so I told you I had some help coming in to the uh, shop to help me out on this car That's because me, this right? is a big one. Me. This is the guy here. I'm gonna help you. He's the new guy at the shop yeah. and uh, he's gonna be helping us on it. So hold on a minute here. You guys want some real help? Pig Society's here. Let's let this roll. This guy, he'd hold the camera. That's that, whoa. Come oh, on. wait a minute here, man. You're taking over the show? Oh, I don't want to take over the show, but you know, I want to come in here and you know, help out a little bit. And I think you need a little bit because- I'm gonna let you guys figure this out. I'll go get lunch. I don't know, guys. We got a uh, big deal here and we'll figure out what we're doing and who's doing what in a minute, but we're gonna start prepping this out and uh, rolling with it. All right, so we're prepping the uh, blend out and I, we also have another guy. I picked him up on the side of the road on the way into work this morning. He was on his way to the cruise ship and he said, I need a couple more bucks. So he uh, came in with me and I'll be dropping him off at the port at the end of this video. Yeah, so. I want to impress the ladies on the cruise ship. I need more money. All right. Like this, right? I think he's got style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're in here and there's no more games being played. We got this thing taped up. Oh, you almost just walked into that body panel. And the, joke, the joking is over, guys. I got a serious no, job here. And these guys are gonna be looking through the window as we're gonna be uh, painting a Ferrari right now. So we gotta get out the amateurs and we gotta get this show on the road here, okay? Let's, let's, let's get this show on the road. How many you said you called in to help? You know, Enough is enough. There's no more games being played. Hey. Let's go. Let's let's scoot out of here. Come on. All right, all right. Everybody all right. out, hey, and I'll you, make sure the boat don't leave you. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Boat's not leaving.
All right, so it came out nice, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing built, and then I'll show it to you guys all finished. These guys are... Uh... We'll show you, though, some of the kind of strange issues or things that come along with assembling an Italian car, like a lot of shims. There's a lot of shims oh, yeah. that I have in a bag that came with the thing, so a little bit more work to do to figure out the angles, but you got it. Is there so a lot of here he is. Board? We got to get going here. We got to get this guy to the cruise <laughs> yeah. before he misses his boat. I got to get down to Banana Box docks and uh, get on that boat. All right, so... Uh, We'll show it to you here in a couple of days, Bill. We're gonna get it done. All right, so this is where we finish out this video and uh, our friend came back to visit and now he's actually working with me here, the fellow that went on the cruise. So we're gonna unbag the car. We've been covering it up now and it's all finished on our part and this is the day that it's gonna head out of the shop. So let's do the unveiling. All right, so there it is all finished up and uh, windshields back in it. The car has been buffed, it's all cleaned up, and uh, it's looking really nice. So we definitely had a fun time doing this one here with uh, Paint Society and Sam Crack. And the only thing that we're waiting still on here is this window for the car. And uh, we just can't wait anymore. We got to get it out of here. We we're afraid something's going to happen to this one. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing out of here today. But I wanted to show you the finished up job and how far we took it. We took it as far as we could with what we had and now the rest is up to Sam to finish up this job. So it's going home. All right, so the man's here to pick it up. How do you like it? Candy man. It's not candy painted. What'd you do? Yeah, we, we can't, you know, that'll ruin the value of this thing. You know, you're right. And this is actually not the side that was painted. Come on, look at this. It looks brand new, like nothing ever happened. I, I mean, it's just amazing to think that this thing had a gigantic burn hole in it. And all we need is this little grill, this piece of window glass, and we've got a complete car here. You knocked it out of the park. Everybody, did you know that only about like what? One tenth of you watching right now are actually subscribed to this guy. What are you doing? Hit the button below. Make sure you give him a follow because he does incredible work. I can't thank you enough. You knocked it out of the park and well, I just was looking at something else at the auction. I might have to bring in a few weeks. It's going to be a little bit more work than this. Sounds good. You up for it? Oh, yeah. All right, so this is it. It's going to be leaving, and we'll have it back again once he gets it finished up. And he promised me a test drive in this one, so you guys see it. You're gonna, he's going to drive it. All right, so we're going to take it for a spin in another video once it's all done. So after, after a credit check and a deposit, and then he can test drive yeah, we'll see. He's, you know, we're, we're, we're low on the funds, but I hope you guys liked it and we'll see you guys on the next one.